So hello everyone, it's Tuesday Stocks and today we're talking about the vagus nerve. I don't know why I pointed to my shoulders. It has nothing to do with my shoulders. Anyway, have you heard of the vagus nerve? Probably because a couple years ago it was all the rage in the medical community to talk about vagal toying and the importance of your vagus nerve. So what is a vagus nerve? I'll just give you like the real basics in case you weren't aware. It's um, cranial nerve number 10. It's the longest nerve in the body and it's Latin for wanderer or wandering because it wanders all over. It's a very long nerve. It starts at the back of um, the brain and it goes down to, into your thoracic cavity and it touches many of the organs. Uh, oddly enough, not the adrenals. Um, and it's responsible for our pulse, our respiratory, all sorts of different things. And if our vagus nerve is not what they call toned, um, it can cause all sorts of problems. And it's associated with our flight and fight response, which also is associated with cortisol production, which leads to, you know, gaining a lot of weight in your middle area or just not being able to lose weight in general. I kind of when I think of like a vagus nerve that is not toned, I think of this. <laughs> you know, like that feeling when you're just like so stressed and overwhelmed and you just have too much going on and your brain is always going and you're rushing from this place to that place and you just feel tense and tight and like everything is too much. Your, ne your vagus nerve, if you're feeling that way, probably needs a little help. So these are some things that you can do whenever you're feeling like that, which I kind of feel like that a lot, to be honest. Um, unconventional things. So no herbs this time, more like physical things we can do. Okay, so one thing we can do is belly breathing, deep breathing, which like that's kind of 101 for anything stress related, right? Like whenever you're feeling a little frazzled and frayed, there's things called box breathing, which you can look up, but box breathing is just um, breathing an account of four. So you like inhale at a count of four, you hold for a count of four, and then you exhale for a count of four, and then you pause for a count of four, and then you inhale again for a count of four. So it's called box breathing because it's like a box, four, 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 okay? Um, all sorts of type of breathing exercises help with your vega, with your vagus nerve. Another thing that helps is yodeling, <laughs> which I don't know how to do, um, so I'm not gonna do yodeling. Chanting, chanting is good for your vagus nerve. You might not yodel, you might not chant, but guess what you can do? You can hum, so humming. Mm. Oh, and specifically even humming um, like om, om. <laughs> um, that is good for your vagus nerve and chuckling. So if you're ever if you're ever feeling very stressed at work, you can um chant, uh, yodel, gurgle. I don't like gurgling, but no, seriously, and it's so interesting. And I think it's because um, your vagus nerves runs down past this area. So anything that activates your like your glottal reflex, your your larynx, your voice box is good for your va your vagus nerve, except for probably yelling and screaming. So laughing and chuckling. And it's funny because you know how they say like laughter is the best medicine? Part of that isn't just because of stress relief. I believe it's also because it's t it's toning your vagus nerve. So if you start like if you're if you're very um back to what I was saying, if you're very stressed out and you just make yourself chuckle, like you're just angry and upset and you're just like, <laughs> you'll find that you'll start laughing for no reason because you're chuckling like a weirdo. But it's good for your vagus nerve and your mental health. So these are unconventional, very inexpensive, free remedies for intense stress. There was another one. Those are the main ones. It was the chanting, the humming, the yodeling, which you're probably not going to do. But you, but I really do encourage the humming or making yourself laugh for no reason. And if people at work think you're crazy because you're stressed, 
Well, then now they can just think you're crazy because you're just in your cubicle or in your office laughing for no reason. But at least it will be helping your mental health. It will be helping lower your cortisol response and it will help you get through the day. This aligns very nicely um, if you want to know herbal remedies for you know high stress, being overwhelmed, lots of tension, then you can look at last week's Tuesday's talk where I had herbal recommendations. Okay, that's it. That's a short Tuesday's talk with a very unconventional methods, but they work. There is a book I was going to recommend for your vagus nerve, but I can't find it. So I'll have to look that up. The other one that I um, read recently was not a good book, and so I'm I was going to tell you what it was so you wouldn't buy it, but I don't think you would come across it. So not going to put negative energy out there, but a lot of these books, by the way, on Amazon, I think are being slapped together by AI or something. So be wary of that. Anyway, that's it. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm a loon or if you are going to start chanting, yodeling, humming, or gurgling, or maybe better yet, box breathing, <laughs> when you are overwhelmed and stressed and want to train or tune your vagus nerve. And over the next month, I'm going to be doing more Tuesday talks on the vagus nerve because it's actually really fascinating and we'll go like deeper into um, what it does and some of the research on it. Okay, that's it for Tuesday talks. Hope you had a good Tuesday. Bye.